Hello. In this segment of Effective Digital and Traditional Marketing for Small Law Firms, David Wolf talks about reviews and your online reputation and how they play an important role in your marketing strategy. If you want to see more Justia videos on law practice and legal marketing, be sure you're subscribed to our channel. So if you're going to do anything with marketing as a small firm, solo practitioner, my best advice is to work on your online profiles, your online reputation, and something that that they do at Justy, it's called Yaxt, to make sure your, your website is indexed and listed accurately for Google search purposes. So another quote for you is that your reputation's in the hand of others, you can't control it. The only thing you can control is your character. I, I believe this is an accurate quote. However, I do believe that your online reputation and how it looks and how it performs is something you can improve and promote. Um, you got to do it in an ethical way. It has to be top of mind awareness. And you don't want to take any shortcuts or go to some review farm in Russia or China because Google will figure that out. So here's something you can watch that might get you motivated or demotivated, depending on the effect. There's a it's called the Black Mirror series. It's on Netflix in season three, episode one. It's a parody of sorts. It's a satire about how everybody is rating each other. And it's a bit excessive. However, I think part of the point to this show is that your reputation and your rating is your capital in life. And that, that was the point of this program. So Lacey, I believe the character was, was starting out at 4.2 and she took a nosedive to a 0. Point something because things didn't go her way. Uh, but what I what I captured from this, like Carl there with the 4.8, he could get into certain restaurants, he could get discounts on tickets, live in certain neighborhoods. I know it's a bit excessive, but kind of the same uh, concept applies as a solo and small law firm for your marketing and case generation. So it was an interesting show you may want to watch. So let's talk about Google. Why I I'm a big fan of Justy, and it has its own uh, online rating system and directory. I think the most important um, search engine, the most important reviews you can get and set up is your Google business profile. If you're going to do anything, um, you have to have the Google business profile in order. You have to have it all set up, professional. And in my opinion, it has to be linked to a, a very good and robust website that will then continue to impress the person then to call you. Google business profile is what it's termed today, what it's going to be termed tomorrow. I don't know. It used to be called Google Maps. Um, it used to be called two or three other things, but today it's called Google business profile. And if you have a good website provider, a good um, internet coach, which, which I do, you get it set up and you got to make sure it matches up to an address it usually can't go to a house or a p.o box or something where 22 lawyers other law firms are so let's talk about some basics with the google business profile you can search yours if you have one or others by just putting in your law firm name and your zip code and it should show up on the right side of the page um, you can copy the url and then shorten it to make sure it's easy to access by others. The URL that comes out is, is way too long to send. So you want to shorten it or hyperlink it to something that's in an email or text message. Only a person with a Google account can post a review. So your, autumn, your population of people that can post a Google review is already limited to somebody with the Gmail address. But keep in mind that not all Gmail addresses are Joe John Doe at gmail.com. I have a Gmail address is dwolf at davidallenwolf.com. And I can post Google reviews by logging onto Chrome or, or other search engines. So you can try it, and but keep in mind if they don't have a Gmail address, um, they're not going to be able to post. And Google's kind of funny if somebody sets up a 
Gmail address and immediately post a review, they might flag that and it might not stick. Um, I have found that clients and contacts need guidance when it comes to the Google Maps or Google Business Profile. They need guidance on how to post a review. They need reminders. And another key that's very important, I think a big no-no, do not post a link on your social media, on your website where anybody and everybody can find your, your Google page and post a review because some people may be looking to torpedo you. So I always ask, I always make sure the person's 100% satisfied. If there's any hesitation, yeah, you got me a lot of money, but it took longer than expected. I thank them for being a client and I don't send them the links because I don't want anybody to use the Google um, business profile or other platforms to say anything but great things about me. Um, so how do you do it? How do you get these reviews? So I'm gonna go through a couple techniques I use. I recommend you always ask. I, I made a mistake years ago of assuming a, uh, a woman I knew through the soccer club that we had many conversations uh, during, during the years. Um, she, she wrote me the, the worst email back I've ever seen because she was mad about, about something that I didn't even know about. So I should have called her and say, hey, let's call her Susie. Um, I'm working on my reviews. I've given you advice in the past. I helped you out with that case. But she was harboring some bad feelings I didn't even know about. Uh, so always ask. You can email, text, and then ask again if you need to. Um, this is a slide that just shows you the conversation. Like I said, you know, would you be willing to write a review? Yes, I would gladly do it. Um, but many people that say they love you and will write the review just never get around to it. So you're not going to get a hundred percent return on the try for asking. But you want to vet these reviews. I also have a series of emails that I've I've written. Um, some have been longer than others. It's a trial and error thing, but here's a sample email where you ask for the review, you say how important it is to you, and you give the link. Um, there's a, a screenshot um, showing that uh, there's a search for my firm, Woodadder and Wolf, and the zip code. And if you see on the right side, uh, that's the that's the Google Business Profile page. And what I've done is replicate uh, what some other paid services do. So you can go with some paid services like uh, BirdEye or Reputation Tracker. Um, I use them for a little bit. But what I did is I, I took the idea and I made my own landing page that is only... Um, you can only locate it by typing in the term. It's not searchable or crawlable. Tim knows more about that kind of stuff, but I ha you have to direct a person to this page. And it has some of the platforms that I use, which includes just the fine law, lawyers.com, Avo, Google, and uh, top rated local, which is a, a relatively unknown one, but something that can be used by law firms and other businesses. Um, I also had set up a website a few years ago. Again, I'm not using it as much anymore, but I like the concept. It's called ratedavidw.com. So where it has a link for each of the review sites, I, I need to go to that site and update it. But that's another concept you may try where you don't have it searchable, but you can point people to it. And um, it also explains the importance of reviews. So somebody else made that recommendation from another Seminars, so I've used that and I've gotten a good a number of reviews by using that tool. Going back to again, it's it's interchangeable here because of the name, the Google Maps. Um, you can use a um, tiny URL to um, shorten the name or just hyperlink it within the uh, email itself. And there's a graphic just showing when you do the search with the zip code that you find the page. And I've gone as far, I did this on PowerPoint, which is, uh, or Keynote, which is the same as PowerPoint. I send this little diagram to clients, showing them the step-by-step -step way to post a review. And this seems to help. 
So walk them through it. Why make it any harder for the client that's trying to help you out? So it's a four-step uh, process. It's pretty easy to do, but you, you got to ask and re-ask and email. And what I have here is a progression because I've only been paying more attention to the online reputation stuff with some consistency since uh, 2016. So my firm was basically rocking at no reviews back in 2016. And a couple of years in, we had 70 reviews, five-star rating. And now to the present day, we're up to 288 reviews and a five-star rating which is a, a very good presence. I also set up a page for myself, uh, unless things have changed, individual lawyers within a firm, like a doctor's practice can have their own Google page. You just can't re-reference the firm. So it's something to consider. So I set up one for myself. And in 2017, I had no reviews. And I was really working hard on this one. I grew it to 171, all client, perfectly legitimate reviews over a couple of years. Um, and now I'm at 441 reviews because I am asking for reviews just about every day, but I'm not at 100% return on the ask. So it's probably could be in the thousands that I've asked, but it's the law of numbers. The more you ask, the more likely you are to get. And rarely do people gratuitously just go and write you a love note on your Google page. You usually have to ask for it. Um, so when you get this many reviews, you know, there's a typical review. I highly recommend this firm. The person worked with me for a, a few years. And this really goes a, a good distance to securing new clients or if somebody's going to hire you. It just only confirms that you're the right place for that that potential client. Um, again, as I stated, if you don't ask, I don't think you get, um, I'd recommend you send an email link. You could follow up with a phone call or email or both. And I always thank the person. I always send an email or make a phone call. I take a screenshot of the review if I can. And it's also important for the search engine optimization of this that you go into the Google business map under your um, portal and write a reply because people like to see that you're appreciating what other people are posting that you're a real person. Thanks for watching. Now you better understand reviews, your Google business profile, and your online reputation, and how they help you with your law firm's marketing plans. Remember, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more law practice and legal marketing videos. See you in our next clip.